So look at this one here now. This is when chicken pox happened to him. And there were two, two balls here of chicken pox. And all of a sudden they started growing and everything just joined together. Started forming big shape. I don't understand. I see there is water inside. So I took him to the doctor and the doctor wrote an appointment for us. And I went to meet a, a dermatologist and um, they started injecting some substance to dry off the stuff and after which i got a silicone um what is what is cerotto in uh, english sir? a silicone cerotto what is cerotto mm. um hey what is it called is it what is it called it's not bandage oh plaster yes a silicone plaster to be applied on it so that it doesn't grow since it is still fresh we did that and look at until now it's still scratching him i don't know what to apply on this can you guys see very well i don't know what to apply on this and the same thing is happening also on his body and um i've told the, the doctor she said some people's skin are like that that nothing can be done which I know that something can actually be done. Just that most times here, if something has not gotten out of hand, they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. If the rope holding a thing has not caught, they don't make any move. <laughs> but she said that they can only give cream. She wanted to write a cream for me, but I told her that her colleague has already written a cream for me. She said, okay, that I should... Uh, go ahead with that though so, her colleague told me that it's going to take some time but i should not give up on using it i should be consistent with using it i'm keeping my fingers crossed hoping and believing that it's going to you know she said that it will not give me a hundred percent result but at least it will reduce it and that is okay by me as long as it reduces it i don't know because it thing keep growing keep growing so as we have seen it and um, that is what the doctor said and she said <coughs> that what she can do is to give me um, a paper to go book for an appointment for a dermatologist and which something that I went through with the ones I showed you here about his um, about chicken post, what chicken post did to, did to him so I told him it's of no need because at the end of the day they will inject him those things and it will still remain the same but what I'm thinking of doing is contacting the doctor that operated him on that leg you know going to see him to see what he will say about it so still let me know in the comment section what you think can be done what I should do or if you have any remedy natural or what if you have experienced this before let me know in the comment section and I'll be gladly I'll I'll be so glad to you know follow that uh, procedure anyways let us go uh, I actually came to a library my son said he wants to take some books from the library to read and we came here but they are closed so we are going back to the house I'm not actually going directly to the house, but we are going to their school because I need to get some things from their school. I've been going there for, for for some time and they have been on break. Hopefully they are back. So let me go and control if they are back before we head back to the house. I've not eaten and I feel so hungry because of the medication that I am in. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.